Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is n to the power of 6 minus n to the power of 3 this is equal to 2 so what are the values of n? let's provide a solution from here now, we can express n to the power of 6 as n to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus n to the power of 3 this is equal to 2. So we have n to the power of 3 and n to the power of 3 here. So we can let n to the power of 3 be equal to u. Let's substitute u in this equation here. We have u squared minus u. This is equal to 2. So let's take 2 on the left hand side so that we have u squared minus u minus 2. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation that we can solve by factorization. We have the product A is minus 2. We have the sum is equal to minus 1. So we can get the factors here. The factors here we have minus 2 and 1. So we say minus 2 times 1. This is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 1. This is minus 1. So let's substitute this. We have u squared minus 2u plus u minus 2. This is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. From the first part here, u is common. So we can factor out u so that we have u minus 2. Then plus 1 into the parentheses. This is u minus 2. This is equal to 0 u minus 2 is common here so we can factor out u minus 2 then we remain with u plus 1 this is equal to 0 now we have that u minus 2 this is equal to 0 and we have u plus 1 this is equal to 0 so this means that u1 is equal to 2 and u2 is equal to minus 1. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we insist that let n to the power of 3 be equal to u. So let's substitute u with n to the power of 3. Now let's start with u1, which is equal to 2. So we have n to the power of 3. This is equal to 2. So let's take 2 on the left hand side. So this is n to the power of 3 minus 2. This is equal to 0. We can express 2. Remember 2 is raised to the power of 1. We can express 1 as 3 over 3. So this is n to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 over 3. This is equal to 0. So this is the same thing as n to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 raised to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 now this equation here is of the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 which you can express as a minus b then a squared plus a times b then plus b to the power of 2 applying this identity we have here this is n minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 then here we have n raised to the power of 2 then plus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 times n then plus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 raised to the power of 2 everything here this is equal to 0 so we have got two parts here we have that n minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 this is equal to 0 and we have that n squared plus 2 raised to the power of 1 over 3 n plus 2 to the power of 2 over 3 this is equal to 0 so this means that from the first part here n1 is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3 all n1 is equal to 
the cube root of 2. So this is the value of n1. Let's solve for the other values of n here. This is a quadratic equation where we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3, then we have c is equal to 2 to the power of 2 over 3. So we can solve for n2, comma n3 by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a now let's substitute the values of a b and c so that here we have minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 plus or minus the square root of this is 2 to the power of 1 over 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 then times c c here is 2 to the power of 2 over 3 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so we have minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 plus or minus now this is the square root of 2 to the power of 1 over 3 to the power of 2, this is 2 over 3, then minus 4, multiplying by 2 to the power of 2 over 3. Everything here, divided by 2. So we have minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3, plus or minus. Now we have the square root of 2 to the power of 2 over 3, minus 4, 2 to the power of 2, 2 over 3. This is minus 3 multiplying by 2 to the power of 2 over 3. Everything here divided by 2. Now, we can express minus 3 times 2 to the power of 2 over 3. This is the same thing as, here we have minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3, plus or minus. Now, we have the square root of, this is 3 times 2 to the power of 2 over 3 then times minus 1, everything here, divided by 2. So this is minus 2 raised to the power of 1 over 3, plus or minus. Now, here we have 2 to the power of 2 over 3, times a half, so we have 2 to the power of 1 over 3, multiplied by the square root of 3, then we have that square root of minus 1, this is i, so we have square root of 3, i, everything here, divided by 2. Now we have n2, comma n3, this is minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3, plus or minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3, square root of 3, i. So since 2 to the power of 1 over 3 is common here, we can factor out 2 to the power of 1 over 3, so that into the parentheses, this is minus 1, plus or minus, this is square root of 3, i, cross the parentheses, everything here divided by 2. But since 2 is raised to the power of 1, this is in the form of a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n minus m. So this is the same thing as n2, comma n3. This is 2 to the power of 1 over 3, minus 1, into the parentheses. This is minus 1, plus or minus, square root of 3, i, cross the parentheses. So 2 to the power of 1 over 3, minus 1. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of minus 2 over 3, into the parentheses, this is minus 1 plus or minus root 3, i, cross the parentheses. And this means that n2, comma n3, this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 3, i, divided by 2 to the power of 2 over 3. Now, these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions, and this means that we can call this case 1, 
So this means that in case one, in case one, we have that n1 is equal to, we have the cube root of two, or rather we have two to the power of one over three. Then we have n2 comma n3, this is equal to minus one plus or minus root three i divided by two to the power of two over three. These are two complex solutions. So let's proceed to case two. You can call this case two, case two. In case two, we have that u, that is u2 is equal to minus one. Now in case two, u2 is equal to minus one, and therefore n to the power of three, this is equal to minus one. So let's take minus one on the left hand side. This is n to the power of three plus one. This is equal to zero. Now we have that one to the power of three. This is the same thing as one. So we can substitute one to the power. Of, so we have n to the power of three plus one to the power of three. This is equal to zero. So this equation here is actually the sum of two cubes expressed as a to the power of three plus b to the power of three, which we can express as a plus b multiplied by a to the power of 2 minus a b plus b to the power of 2. Now applying this identity, then here we have n plus 1. Then here is n squared minus n plus 1 squared. This is equal to 0. So in this case, we have two parts here. We have n plus 1. This is equal to 0. And we have n to the power of 2 minus n plus 1. This is equal to 0. So we have that n4. This is equal to minus 1. n4 is equal to minus 1. Now the second part here is a quadratic equation. We have that a is equal to 1. b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to 1. So we can solve for n5, comma n6 by applying the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a. Substituting the values of a, b, and c, this means we have minus minus 1, plus or minus the square root of, now this is minus 1 raised to the power of 2, minus 4 times a which is 1, then times c which is 1, everything here, divided by 2 times 1. So this implies that we have minus times minus 1, this is 1, plus or minus the square root of, this is minus 1 squared, this is 1, Minus 4 times 1, this is minus 4, divided by 2. Now, here we have 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4, which is minus 3. Everything here, divided by 2. We can express the square root of minus 3. This is the same thing as 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 times minus 1 divided by 2. Now here we have 1 plus or minus. We have the square root of 3. Then square root of minus 1. This is i. Then divided by 2. So this implies that these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 2. So this means that n5 this is equal to 1 plus root 3 i divided by 2 and n6 this is equal to 1 minus root 3 i divided by 2 and this totals to 6 solutions we have 6 solutions to this algebra problem we have 6 solutions here we have n1 this is equal to 
2 to the power of 1 over 3. We have n2, comma n3. This is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 3. I divided by 2 to the power of 2 over 3. This is actually two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. Then we have n4. This is equal to minus 1. And we have n5, comma n6. This again, these are two complex solutions, which is 1 plus or minus root 3i divided by 2. These again are two complex solutions. And this totals to four complex solutions and only two real solutions. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.